of much and blessings and through the seasons of luck even through the darkness Lord you're the giver of life oh God nimejifunza kudhiliwa Like you, there is 
none like you. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Oh, we come to you, Jesus. We bow before you. We love you, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. and reassuring us this evening that we are loved as we worship him he knows what it is you've gone through and he says I love you Lord we receive your love tonight oh for that one who's so deeply wounded balm of Gilead flow flow into the deep emotional crevice of the heart that is so wounded and remove the bitterness the hardness of heart Lord as the blood of Jesus flows receive your cleansing receive your healing because he alone is the giver of life. Jesus, sweep, sweep through this place. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, move in our midst, flow and feel my life. I'm just going to 
going to ask you to lift your hands up and ask the Holy Spirit to fill you afresh. I don't know what your posture of prayer is, but just let the Holy Spirit refresh you. Let him come and flow. one of us oh to overflowing Jesus hallelujah you're worthy Lord you're worthy Jesus in Jesus name in Jesus name Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, when you're in the presence of the King of Kings and he's done so much for you, there are times I just want to break out into a dance as I just so can enjoy his presence. And the next song we're going to sing together. It's a little bit new. But I have a feeling some of you have been singing to it on YouTube. It's called Ndio. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you don't know it, I don't know what it is you're going through. I pray that you will hear the Lord say yes. Ndio yake. Nindi.
no man can shut. And that is our God tonight and is our portion in the land of the living. And he reigns on high. He reigns above everything that is trying to exalt itself above the will of God in your life. And tonight I just want us to look to him because he alone, he alone reigns. Oh, 
special is purpose. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Come on, soak some more. Go deeper. Don't be silent. Because the Lord reigns. Not man, but God. He sits so free. He sits so free over that matter. Oh, let's proclaim the sovereignty of God. Let's proclaim the sovereignty of God. Do not be quiet in the presence of the Lord. Your God reigns. He reigns over your family. He reigns over that wayward child. He reigns. Oh, he reigns. He reigns. He reigns. Lord, you reign. We proclaim your majesty. We proclaim your majesty. God reigns in power and in glory. He reigns, he reigns. He says, he's the commander of the armies of God. That is your God. Come on. Come on, somebody find that corner, find that space and proclaim the leadership of God. Do not exalt that matter over God. Do not exalt oh, that difficult over the power of Spirit of the living God, the Lord reigns. You reign, you reign, oh God, you reign. Not a man, even upon this nation, you alone reigns. Over the affairs of this city, Lord, you reign. Over our economy, oh God, that is skyrocketing, Lord, you, you reign. Over our extended families uh, through every difficult situation you reign not the traditions of the family but you Lord we exalt you on high we bless you in your rightful place we bless you in your rightful place we bless you on your throne you are seated on your throne oh Lord the heavens faces are never covered with shame we look to you lord we look to you we look to you tonight lord we look to you the god of radiance let shame be lifted up lord let shame be lifted up jehovah god oh lord let shame be lifted up oh god let every power that has tried to exalt itself against you, O oh God, uh, be put to shame because you reign. The Lord reigns, let the earth be glad. Let the distant shores rejoice. Clouds and thick darkness surround him. The Lord reigns in righteousness and justice that is the foundation of his throne. And tonight fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world, the earth trembles. Oh, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness and all his people see his glory. All, you, all who worship images are put to shame those who boast in idols worship him oh you gods Zion hears and rejoices and the villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments Lord 
For you are Lord, for you, O oh Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Let those who love the Lord hate evil, for he guards the life of his faithful ones and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light shines on the righteous and joy on the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you who are righteous, and praise his holy name. The Lord reigns, the Lord reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In you, Lord, do we live and move and have our being. And we are lost without you. We are desperate for you tonight. We are desperate for your presence. We are desperate for your power. Oh, make us and mold us.
is what you want from me, hey, from me. Say holiness, holiness, holiness is what I long for. That's what I long for. Holiness, That's what I need. Righteousness, righteousness, what I love.
that's what you walk through. That's what you walk through. Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. We came for you tonight. We came to have an encounter with you. speak to the father what is that that is hidden before God David says Lord if I want to make my bed in hell even there you will find me oh Jesus we just want to be more like you we may radiate your glory Lord we have fallen short of your glory so many times they look at us and they wonder where where is God where is that God your glory. We repent. We rend our hearts tonight and not our garments. We come to you with repentance. We come to you, oh God. Deal with our hearts tonight. Deal with my hearts tonight, oh God, that I may radiate your glory. That I may be salt and light. That we may be salt and light. That you may be just for a little while so we can welcome every first timer just appreciate you for joining us this evening are you there this is your very first time you've come into our midst for this extended worship service that we hold every second Wednesday of the month is there anyone can I see a hand Oh, yes, thank you. Kindly stand. We end that one too at the back there. Hallelujah. 
We thank God for you and you're going to receive a brochure about Sitam Thika Road. Kindly fill in your details and uh, there's one more that side at the back there. Make sure that um, uh, sister gets a brochure as well. We don't want to leave anyone out. We have services here every Sunday at 9 a.m. and at 11.30. You're welcome. If you're, uh, you're looking for a church to settle in, we want you to know that your search for a church has come to a blessed end. But if you're visiting and you go somewhere else on Sundays, please take our greetings. But thank you for joining us on Wednesdays. I'm aware that some of you, uh, by virtue of working around or living around, come to this evening service and also for our blaze uh, uh, prayer service every fourth Friday of the month and we just want you to know how much you are loved today as we were worshiping I just felt to just the Lord saying he loves you amen sometimes the things we've been through in life make us feel so overwhelmed and it's as though God doesn't love us he does he does. He loves you and I. There's an old little chorus that I'm very tempted to lead us in as I ask the ashes to wait on us for our tithes and offerings, which we are going to give right now. It says, oh, how he loves you and me. Oh. for your neighbor along Lumumba Drive, along Kasarani, Mwiki, Thome, Zimaman, Roy Sambu, Kawa West, Kawa East, is there Kawa East, Sukari, Juja, Toll Station, in this neighborhood that you would experience God's love. Amen. Let's give thanks for the offering, Lord. We just want to say thank you so much for blessing us with the substances that we want to now just give to you. We ask, Lord, you will receive them from our grateful, thankful hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Buona sifiwe. The baskets are at the front and the ushers are standing right there. Feel free to come and give to the Lord as we just sing about the love of God. Emmanuel, he is God with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let the things of life overwhelm you to the point that you don't recognize that he is Emmanuel, God in our midst.
you're welcome to take whatever posture of prayer. But as we sing this next song, Jesus at the center of it all, I pray that as we carry on, even as when, when we're not in that sanctuary, in your business, in your house, in the marketplace, that Jesus will truly be the center of it all. Amen. Sometimes when we come to pray, sometimes we're, it's been a bit overwhelming. So I'm going to ask that you reach out to someone. I know we've forgotten to be washing our hands, but after this week, make sure you wash your hands. But find someone and hold the hand of somebody and just pray for that person. Find someone so that we're not singing this song alone. I know we're a little bit scattered and there's some of you right at the back. But you're proclaiming that Jesus be the center be the center of it all. Be the center of this person that I'm holding the hand of.
your church. Jesus be the center of your church. Jesus be the center of your church. Jesus be the center of your church. From beginning, every knee will bow. And every knee will bow. And every tongue, and every tongue shall go. Tell him it's him 
alone. Jesus at the center of it all. Hallelujah. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end. From beginning. Bishop to come. Oh, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy, and at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Welcome, Bishop. Hallelujah. Wow, come on, let's give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Thank you, thank you, worship team. You may take a break for a short while, but we just want to thank God for this evening and even for this time in his presence. Indeed, as the Bible says that in his presence, there is fullness of joy. And that's what I can, I can attest to and that I've enjoyed even as I've been in God's presence. But as we come to a conclusion and as we I pray our final prayers. I sensed in my spirit just to reflect over this uh, particular scripture in Luke chapter 17 and uh, beginning reading at verse 11 uh, is an incident that happened. And as we come to the Lord in prayer, sometimes we just want to bring our petitions, our supplications, we intercede and we call on the Lord. And somehow God, being the good God that he is, he comes through for us. He answers our prayers. But sometimes our attitude is, okay, it is done and so well and good for me. But there is uh, the need to have <clears throat> an attitude of gratitude. And so, in this incident, when Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, he traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. And as he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. And they stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. That's what we've been doing. Sometimes when we come into the presence of God, we cry out to him and we want to get his attention. And you know something about our God is that when we call on to him, he hears and he is drawn to our call. And so they said, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And the Bible says there in verse 14, when he saw them, he said, go show yourself to the priests. And they went and they were cleansed. In other words, God is a God who answers prayer. When we call on his name, when we cry out to him, it is not in vain. He hears. You know, when these guys came and they said, Jesus, have pity on us. He heard their cry. And the Bible says he told them to go to the priests because they were just going to confirm that he had healed them. Now, verse 15 is the one that turns the whole scenario here to what I want us just to focus on as we go uh, to the closure of tonight's time of uh, extended worship. The Bible says that one of them, when he saw he was healed, came back praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? 
Then he said to him, rise up and go. Your faith has made you well. Having an attitude of gratitude. And sometimes as believers, as, uh, as the people of God, we are people of prayer. And when we come before the Lord and we pray and we lay our petitions before him, God is a God who hears our prayers. Is a God who is even more than willing to answer us even before we ask of him. That is what the Bible says. But sometimes in our asking, in our seeking the face of God and in God manifesting himself to us, we could have an attitude where we get so much accustomed to God answering our prayers or us being able to bring our petitions before God. And we could leave out a very key component of our worship to God. And that is coming before him with gratitude, with thanksgiving. The Bible says he noticed this man who had come back to give gratitude to him. He noticed the man who came back to give gratitude to him. And I pray tonight, even in your prayer life, in your seeking the Lord, in your wanting God to come down in your various situations, please don't forget to come back like the nine did. Come back, take a moment every once in a while and just give thanks to the Lord. Somebody say amen. amen. Three things that I want to bring to our attention as we come to an end is that thanksgiving has a way of catching God's attention. When you give thanks to the Lord, just like this one guy, God notices that heart of gratitude. God notices that you want to come back and say, you know, this that you did for me, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. And I want to just encourage somebody here that as God has touched your life, as God has opened the doors, as God has won that victory for you, as God has done whatever that he may be doing in your life, please come back and say thank you because God's attention is captured when you give thanks back to him. And that's what this man did. In fact, I normally have my own version, my own interpretation, and you don't have to go running with it. That when this one man came back and gave gratitude, although there were 10 that were cleansed, because this one came back, that is my own interpretation, my own version, he must have been the only one whose healing was sustained, and I want to believe the other nine guys, probably after a while, their leprosy came back. But that's my version. That's my version. That God's attention is captured when you have an attitude of gratitude. God is connected with you. When you come back to him and say, Oh God, you availed for me. Oh God, you, you battled on my behalf. Oh God, you touched my family. God is able to get his attention on you simply because of that attitude of gratitude. And number two, the other thing that we see here about this is that when we give thanks, it allows God to intervene in our situation. Yeah, because, you know, when we have a condition that requires his intervention, and when we recognize that it is him who has done it and we come back and tell him thanks, it means that God is able to fulfill and complete what he has started in our life. But if we do not have an attitude of gratitude, probably along the way, whatever that God may be doing in our lives may go back to where it was or things may just, you know, go back to normal. But when you have an attitude of gratitude, I believe somehow God is able to sustain the miracle that he performed in your life. 
I've known people who have been given certain things and God has opened certain doors. Then all of a sudden they forgot about God and they went doing their own thing and spending whatever they wanted to spend and doing whatever they wanted to do. And I've known that certain people like those have again fallen back because they didn't have an attitude of gratitude. You see, when the Lord blesses you, the way to sustain that blessing, the way to grow whatever God is doing in your life, the way to enter into the breakthrough and into the fulfillment of what he's doing in your life is to remain with the attitude of gratitude. When you walk away, after God has blessed you with that lovely husband or wife, and you no longer come for the prayer meeting. <laughs> well, as if you were uh, young people who are here. You know, all of a sudden, prayer meetings don't make any sense to you. You know, giving, you know, to the Lord is no more uh, a thing that you want to think about. Going for missions is not something that you want to be part of. After all, God has blessed me. That attitude is not the best. God sustains the work that he has begun in you when you continue to acknowledge him in your life. Somebody say amen. And then thirdly and lastly is that thanksgiving gives or provides opportunity for God to be glorified. God is glorified. I see this guy when he came back and Jesus asked, why well, there are not 10 cleansed. Where are the other nine? And none of them returned to give praise except this foreigner. Then he said to him, rise up. Your faith has done what? Has made you well. In fact, it is from there that I get this other, you know, version of mine. You know, how come he says his faith made him well? So which means these other guys who didn't return, probably something did not work out completely in their lives. And so as we give thanks to the Lord, what are we saying? It is you, oh God, who has provided. It is you, oh God, who opened the door. It is you, oh master, have given me this promotion. It is you, O oh Lord, who has availed for me in whatever that I came to bring before you. And when we do that, what are we saying to God? God be glorified. This is your doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. An attitude of gratitude glorifies God. And when God is glorified, I believe everything that God would want to happen in your life is also magnified. People can look and say, that man is blessed of the Lord. That woman is blessed of the Lord. You become a testimony. You become a trophy of the goodness of God and the faithfulness of God in your life. Somebody say amen. And so as we bring this time of prayer and just extended worship to the Lord, I just felt like I would want to bring this to your heart that don't be like the nine. Don't take the things of God for granted. Don't, uh, you know, move away from the grace of God simply because he has blessed you. The blessing that he has given you is even a higher responsibility for you to come back and for you to be used of him and not to uh, assert yourself in the way that you, you forget about the blesser and you occupy yourself with the blessing that he has given to you. That's what many of us do. We find ourselves preoccupied with the blessing at the expense of the, the one who blessed you. You know, now you're all busy, you know, I, I'm, I'm flying in and out, you know, I, I, I'm, I've got this committee meeting. My goodness me, take some time and come back to the house of God and worship God. The one who opened that door, the one who gave you that promotion, the one who has given you that busy life that you are talking about, needs for you to come back, needs for you to have an attitude of gratitude. And I believe, brethren, when we do that, God is glorified in our lives. Somebody say amen. 
would you want to stand with me and in the next two or so minutes just want you to just give God the praise and the thanksgiving I don't know what you came with in the house of God I don't know what you are trusting God for but why, why don't you just go before the Lord and just say thank you Lord I know that you have already given me that promotion I thank you Lord I know you have given me that baby I thank you Lord because I, that vehicle that I've been trusting you for you have already availed for me that promotion that I've been believing you for Lord I know you have done it tonight Lord oh God I know that you're opening a way for me even as I have prayed and as I've trusted you come on now let's just give gratitude oh yes let's just give thanks to the Lord oh father we thank you because you are a good God you are a loving God you are a caring God you are faithful oh Jehovah master you do what no man can be able to do and even tonight as we sang oh God when you say yes no man can say no Lord you are seated with us in the place of victory you are seated with us oh God in the place where you are glorified oh master because of what you have done in us because of what you have availed for us as we go back to our homes as we go back to our places of work as we engage in our day to day involvements oh Lord we are coming Lord and saying thank you thank you Lord for that which you have done thank you Lord even that which we may have said that you do for us and has yet to happen we already also say thank you in advance thank you Lord thank you for providing a husband thank you for providing a wife thank you Lord for that which you are doing oh God in our marriages oh father thank you father even for the business opportunities that you're already bringing our way Lord like Peter of old the nets are going to be broken because of the blessings that you're bringing our way oh God thank you thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Nasema Nasema Asante say thank you thank you thank you Lord for what you have done and what you continue to do you are a faithful God you are a good God and indeed when we come to you in prayer you are a God who listens you are a God who's touched indeed even with our infirmities and our trials and the needs that we have oh God you are acquainted with them and Lord, beyond just getting acquainted with us and sympathizing with us, you're a God who comes down and ministers and meets us at the point of our needs. And so we are coming back, Lord, to say thank you. Thank you for opening that door. Thank you, Lord, for making a way even where there was no way. Thank you for that healing, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for providing. Thank you, Father, for lifting us up. Thank you, Lord, for availing in a manner that was beyond what we can ask and even imagine.
version of you. And tonight, Lord, we go home with a heart of gratitude, not a heart of murmuring and disputing, not a heart of heaviness, but a heart of gratitude. Hallelujah. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and even forevermore. And everybody said, Come on, let's give him a mighty clap offering of praise and of thanksgiving and of worship. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we thank God. Amen. We thank God. He's a good God. Uh, what do we have this weekend? We continue with the revival meetings at Valley Road. Uh, those of us who are able to make it there we, every evening from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. Uh, on Saturday, what do we have? Um, uh, yeah. yeah, yes, we have men and we, I was just thinking of this weekend, but we, we just want to continue to be in God's presence. Joint uh, counselors. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, Tungong, we have the joint counselors. Those of you that are counselors, I think on your platform you should be able to register. Uh, we will be taking you for a joint sitam meeting uh, at Gong, and we believe God will bless us. Amen. Yeah, have a good night and safe journey home. Uh, we see you over the weekend in God's house of worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you.